Far away on Meridian, there I was, studying systems of commerce and exchange. All fairly easy to understand, because there are general rules that almost always apply. I studied furiously. I wanted to be as good a minister for Meridian as my papa. But I was studying something else, too. All the confusion and change of my own system. Seffy. Jad? Not as easy to understand, but still, there are rules that apply. And both kinds of systems are difficult to master. Seffy, wake up, Seffy. Ah! Sorry, Seffy, but you're next in line. The others can't go to work unless you do. Work. Yesterday, I was the toast of Acacia. Today, just another labor at the dye factory after being betrayed and shackled with chains. A problem my power to heal couldn't fix. Still, there's a way out of every tight spot. But how could I leave if it meant leaving all the other children in this place? Acacia had certainly found an innovative way to ensure profitability for their factory. I had no idea any place so inhumane existed. But I was also fascinated by the fact that it did. Even in Catador, the lowliest workers are treated as people, not slaves. This will be your workstation. The others will instruct you in your duties. Get to work. The sooner you start, the sooner you'll earn your citizenship. Citizenship has to be earned? Only if you weren't born in Acacia, it's fair. Here, take these and look behind you. Was this the way business really worked? Was Meridian the exception rather than the rule? You catch. When the bolts come off the belt, fold them ten high to a cart. Watch it. It's hot. Keep your gloves on. You may be some sort of special, but that doesn't mean you get out of your share of the work. Polite is polite, but I was not a citizen to be of Acacia. I was the Minister of Meridian. All that was between me and Meridian was one lousy chain. But just as before, nothing happened. I just can't destroy. Which meant I had to be patient. Some opportunity would show up. I hoped and gagged. Maybe the smell is what blinded me to the very obvious solution. My power didn't affect the iron shackles. But the shackles were attached to the wood. So if only... I could bring a miracle to life. Then I could... I would be... free! Although I was still burdened by a little reminder. Nothing a few ship's knots wouldn't find into a trouble to be unknotted later. My immediate problem was how to take as many children as possible with me, especially since my little escape hadn't inspired open rebellion. What are you doing? I'm leaving, and I want you all to leave with me. You're slaves here. Come with me to Meridian. No, but why? There's monsters outside. They feed us here, and we have a safe place to live until we become citizens. That's more than most of us had before. Really? Well, I have a place for you to live, too. And when I get back up there, I'll be back to fix this place up or take you there. I promise. You! No more talking! I won't forget you! Acacia. What a wretched little city. Welcome to Acacia, Minister Elon. I trust things in Catador are well? Madam Minister, might I compliment you on your good judgment in sending a message to me so quickly? Simple courtesy. I try to maintain good relations with Acacia's trading partners. Hmm. Partners. More properly, benefactors. Now take me to my niece immediately. We're proud to have you yourself come to Acacia, Minister Elon. It's rare to have the opportunity to show off our colors to such an important guest. And you needn't wait for a carriage. There isn't one. We don't use floating seats like you Sky City people. Our own legs work well enough. Please come along. Walk? Like a peasant? Bosco, we must get Sefi and return to civilization as quickly as possible. It's not far.
This has gone far enough. Hiding us from the Katadorian soldiers is putting too much strain on the people of Ring City. So now we have to make a choice. The vote doesn't have to be unanimous. Each one of us must be guided by his or her own moral lodestone. Those of us who want to remain here in Ring City will have to give up their ties to Meridian and assimilate into the city. Those who want to retain our separate allegiance will have to move on to new territory. John. Yes, Hastian? The choice might not be ours. There's Catadors headed our way. Keep calm. We're in the Ministry. They won't violate its doors without cause. Mira! Move away! They seem to feel they have cause. After what you did to our forces on Meridian, it'll be a pleasure to pen you rustics and send you back in chains. Which would mean capturing us first. Remember, we escaped you on Meridian. Capture? Phoebe, are they gonna put us in cages? No, no, no. Keep down, children. I know we haven't known each other long, Isago, but hang on tight. You stay away from him! You brought this on yourself! It's bad luck to break faith with another city's ministry. Whew. Thought it looked like you Meridianites could use a little help from us, John. Strange way of staying neutral you have there, Odwin. I'm overwhelmed. You know, Elon will take it out on Ring City. That's probably true, but sometimes you just have to do the right thing and damn the consequences. There's no matter of choice left now, Mira. We have to move on. True, and if we leave soon, we can take the blame with us. Left Cadador? Lorasi, what do you mean he's left Cadador? Minister Elon has been called away on important business. I'm afraid I cannot divulge its nature. Lorisi, I thought we two had an understanding. We do. I understand what you want from the minister, and I cannot help provide it if he's not here. Good day, milady. <laughs> His future is no longer as secure as he imagined. The future is never a secure thing. Hmm? Old woman, did you say something to me? I could say something of what the eyes have seen, but it would require one to listen. I'm listening. So, tell me, what have those unusual old eyes seen? Once did a woman circle the world for power. Once was a door opened to her. Once it was closed. Soon it will open again, offering both power and price. Oh, poor Sefi, falling all alone. I hope your end was quick and painless. And I wish I had a chance to tell you. Tell you. But I didn't. And now I have to tell the others you're never coming home. Home. Freedom was so close. To get away, I planned to commit my first crime and steal one of Acacia's ships. I told myself that this was justified and that I'd send a new ship back from Meridian in exchange. But it still didn't feel right. Neither did seeing a Catadorian ship in Acacia's port. Did Uncle Elon send it? Did he know I was there? Would he ever know if I died right here? Not that I would. Even with a heavy chain dragging me down, I had my strange power to save me. This force, it could heal, it could push, but it wouldn't break. Or was that just me that couldn't or wouldn't destroy? Maybe it wasn't the power at all. So there I was, alive, free, and on my way. Elon's soldiers, Mariah's guards, no one could stop me. 
I wasn't going back. Not to Acacia's dye factory. Not to Elon's estate. And maybe... Not even to Meridian. 